What right. do you got for us? We got four, and they're they're and they're huge popcorn movies. Starting with Top Gun. Top Gun. Top Gun Maverick. It's right. uh, the new All Top right. Gun movie. Props, props to Tom. This guy, ageless, timeless. Can cla he's a human action figure. It's insane. Yeah, and he's super passionate. The thing that I love about it is Tom Cruise is very passionate about it, which makes me think we're in for a really good time. Yes. He wanted Val Kilmer to come back as Iceman. He wasn't going to do it without him. Oh. Apparently they have a, there's the original. Apparently they have a very emotional reunion. Then you've got a lot of new cast members, including John Hamm. Uh, oh. Madman John Hamm makes it in, right? Along with Boom. a lot of others. But look. As you mentioned, what has Tom Cruise not done? He even upped the ante for himself with this. He and the other cast members went through G-Force training. They went through flight training. Amazing. He wanted those shots inside the cockpit of fighter jets to really be inside the cockpit of uh, fighter, fighter jets. jets. The director said they had to ask the Navy for special permission to do some high-risk stuff. So Tom, even with that list, got to check some more things off of his own sort of bucket list here. And Val Kilmer, did you watch the documentary? I have not seen the documentary, actually. The documentary about Val Kilmer's life? Um, made with his son. Right. Uh, his son is his voice in a large part of the movie because of uh, illness and uh, w what happened to Val in his own life. It's remarkable. You have such respect for this human being, and he's gone through so much. He's been through a lot. I love that Tom wouldn't do the movie without him. And, and he figured out a way to make it work, even under those circumstances, which, which says a lot. So we're very excited Beautiful. for that movie, for sure. Yeah. Beautiful. That's a big one. All right. You guys should watch that. Yeah. You should watch it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, up next. Uh, up next, uh, we have Jurassic World Dominion. Yeah. I, listen, I've been talking about this movie for like a year. Yeah, we got some... Some roaring applause here. I've been talking about this movie for so long. I'm very excited. Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard. The cool thing here, original cast members as well. Sam Neill, Laura Dern, and Jeff I Goldblum love are back. Sam. Yes, there's some of the original cast. So many great. Oh, and Jeff. Oh, I love Jeff. And Jeff. Jeff really brings. Look, this movie. He's done so many things, but this movie really gave him a new, uh, a new audience, a new level of stardom. It's oh, great he to see him had back. Me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> So I was much. with him. I'm old. I was with him since Big Chill. So, okay, okay, way back. They're kind of wrapping up the series with this, but is, is it ever really gone? I don't know. No, no of course not. But I, I got my kids into it recently. I got my girls to watch the original, and it's really fun. You can go back and watch that original and see it through their and you're eyes. Just like, Right, and they haven't had many nightmares since. It's been fine. So, uh, really good time. That was a good one to look forward to. Get the popcorn out for Jurassic World. Okay, next. All right, next up, Lightyear. I'm very excited for this one. Uh, really unique. Yeah. Disney does again. Kind of a... It's weird to say it, but a Buzz Lightyear origin story. But here's the deal. The director said, I want to know what movie Andy, the kid in Toy Story, right, right, saw right. to inspire him to get the toy. Right. This is that movie, right? And this is that this movie. This is that movie. Normally, Tim, Tim Allen traditionally did the voice, but this is, Chris Evans has taken over doing the voice, and they explained that away by saying Tim Allen was a toy. This is the real Buzz. Oh my Chris Evans, huge uh, uh, um, animated movie fan, and said he's pinching himself that he gets to oh do this. Oh, my God, so cool. You've got some really cool uh, aliens, space adventure. His sidekick is this adorable robot cat. So it's still for the family very much. but now, it's, it's going to be a total packed theater of geeked out old people. <laughs> That's exactly right. right. Basically, if you're old, this movie for you. I think it's always that. This is it. This is us, guys. This is us. <laughs> I've got another one for us oldies. The final one. Elvis. Uh, Elvis! Elvis! There we go. I'm in Elvis it. is back in the building. <laughs> I'm very intrigued on what they're going to do here. Mainly Tom Hanks. He's my number one. Tom Hanks stars in there. He's not Elvis. He plays Colonel Tom Parker, who is oh. the guy, boy, he's the guy okay. responsible for making Elvis a star. I know. Remember when Elvis. But who's Elvis? Uh, so Elvis is an, an actor named Austin Butler. Uh, some people might know him from Nickelodeon, Disney Channel, things like that. But this is really his big moment. He could become a huge star uh, if this goes well. He talked about vocal training for a year. He's got the dance. He sings some, all of it. It's a real challenge. Challenge though to do this and not just seem like maybe any other a Elvis impersonator, right? right? Baz you don't Luhrmann. You not come off as a caricature. Yeah, Baz Luhrmann is the director. He did oh. things like Moulin Rouge, Great Gatsby, so he brings I a know. real aesthetic to it. I'm making sure they. I'm making sure everyone knows. I know you know. <laughs> Um, but I, I'm really in intrigued by this. This is the movie, by the way. Remember when Tom Hanks got COVID? Uh, this yes. is the movie that they were filming when that happened. So that's how, what, a Shut couple up. years ago. That's, where, that's why. So um, it's a delayed production, all that kind of stuff. Yep. So we're finally getting it. Very excited for that a little later in the summer. I can't. I can't.